This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Eastern Henrico. More specifically, I am in Sandston. Today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two bath home. This home is located here in a subdivision that was built in the late 90s. This particular home is coming in 1999, and we've got uh, pretty low density here on the opposite side of the street. Uh, this home is a handy woman special, it does need some TLC, but like all government and bank owned properties uh, it's not a matter of how much it's going to sell for it's a matter of when it's going to sell so if the property is not priced accordingly they will eventually come down on the price or they'll just simply accept an offer that is acceptable and move forward uh, this home is probably a, a moderate amount of rehab compared to uh, the average bank or government owned home that i see and uh, there is special financing available to take care of the purchase and the rehab if someone was inclined to do so. One of the big, big challenges here in America is low income housing. And it is a bigger, much bigger problem in high cost areas. Richmond's not really considered a high cost area. Uh, fortunately, someone can make a very modest income here and still buy a home. It doesn't take a whole lot of cash. You guys know that if you've been watching for more than two or three months, you know that I get people into homes for less than first month rent and security deposit if they were renting the same home. So it's never a problem of the cash needed to close. Credit is probably the biggest issue. And even with modest income, we can still make the numbers work. Recently, I had a client who received a housing choice voucher. And for those of you who are not familiar with that program, it's formally known as Section 8. That program basically pays a portion or all of the rent for someone that qualifies is considered low income by government standards. Uh, that person may be disabled, they may be elderly, there may be a number of reasons why they qualify for that program. And some of their rent or all of their rent is taken care of by the government. One of the big, big things that uh, has always disturbed me over the years is that all of that money being paid by the government was actually above the amount that it would cost to rent, excuse me, the same amount that it would cost to buy the same home. Obviously, if a landlord is going to buy and to sell, or excuse me, buy and rent a property, they've got to make a profit. Therefore, their rent amount has to be higher than the mortgage obligation. So it only makes sense. Uh, fortunately, I just learned here today that a program is coming online here locally that will allow someone with a housing choice voucher, formerly known as Section 8, to actually buy a house. So there are individuals that will qualify. Some of them are living in public housing potentially, or they're living in neighborhoods where they would definitely love to get out of them and be able to purchase their own home. One of the things that I find is a huge, huge challenge and very rewarding is the ability to work with clients that thought six months ago, a year ago, or even last month that they would not be able to buy. Uh, fortunately, I've been able to work with people that were homeless just a few years ago that are now in their own home and people that were formerly in public housing that transitioned to a home of their own. So there's nothing like being able to say, this is mine, had that pride of ownership, and more importantly, have a family grow up in an environment that is much more conducive and much safer than they would otherwise. So I share all that to share with you that even if you're not in that category of low income or needing of assistance, I'm sure you probably know someone that is. So it's not a matter of kind of what you know. Sometimes it's who you know. Uh, one criticism I have of the programs, and this is in general, the programs are awful as far as marketing. The only way I find out about some of the best programs out there is I have to seek the information. If no one comes and puts it in my lap, I'm in the business. I should be hit up with all kinds of marketing materials to share with the public, to share with my clients, but it's actually just the opposite. So that's a huge, huge criticism of the programs. We have to actually seek it out. I guarantee you, you won't hear about this any place else because I had to work to find the information and I know kind of where to look. So 
Uh, just wanted to bring that to your attention. This home has a pretty unusual floor plan. Uh, we did have a bedroom, a legitimate bedroom downstairs, but it was only a half a bath. So I would have loved to have seen a full bath downstairs. We do have an additional three bedrooms up here. Uh, these bedrooms are pretty straightforward as far as what they need, just simply carpet and paint. I think the vast majority of the work on this one is going to be in that kitchen. And we've got some exterior TLC, some deck work in the back. Uh, nothing major, but uh, these rehabs do definitely add up. And I'm a big fan of making sure my first time buyers particularly are not putting themselves in a position where they can't get everything done quickly in order to be comfortable and really enjoy their first home. We're now going to transition into our master. Our master is right here. We do have a water heater up here on the second floor. This is a pretty unusual placement. We don't no normally see water heaters there. I'm not sure why they put it right there. This, of course, is going to be the master. We do have the benefit in this floor plan of two closets. This is going to be a smaller closet right here. And then we're going to have another one that is right in the bathroom, which is always a big, big plus. Uh, makes it really easy when getting dressed in the morning. You can just pop in there and grab your clothes and keep moving. This does have a nice jetted tub, something I wasn't expecting here in this home. And our shower right here. Okay, we just lowered our price from about $5,000 there. No shower head in place. You guys know that is an awful, awful infraction in Max's world. Our throne is right there. Now we are in the walk-in closet. We do have an access panel directly above. And interesting layout, very interesting layout. Uh, if you have questions about this or any other home in the market, please be sure to give me a call. My name is Max Williams. I can be reached at 804-402-7788. Also, if you know someone that would love to own, maybe they don't make a whole lot of money, but if they're serious, if they are serious about getting a home of their own and willing to put in the work that it takes to do it, I'd love to chat with them. 804-402-7788. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.